What's up, school fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Baik, gue Kipadila dan hari ini gue seneng banget sih. Oh my god, my guest today, my big brother, three-time IBL champion, 2012 ABL champion, and 2003 Rookie of the Year. My big bro, Mario Lusang, man. Up, bro? <laughs> ini harus ada suara ini nggak ada ini. Uh, Come on, man, give me a clap, bro. Good to see you, man. Uh, jujur, yeah. agak susah untuk prepare this questions for you karena banyak banget okay. yang gue bisa tanyain ke lu sih. And then uh, I think <laughs> last our uh, our last interview classic. classic. The, <laughs> in and out, the in and out, the LA. Yeah, in and out. <laughs> lewat ada pesawat lewat terbang. And Basic then, banget. Yeah, and then you announce your retirement actually yeah, yeah. Uh, on my channel. But now udah upgrade dikit lah. Yeah, udah yeah. pakai yeah. <laughs> microphone right, clip right. on sekarang yeah. ini. But 15 years man as a pro flew by yeah. right? Yeah. Oh cepat banget 15 uh. years. Pertama kali gue datang ke Indonesia 2003 mm. kan. Uh-huh. Sampai sekarang 20 year anniversary IBL. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, gila cepat banget man. Dulu datang belum bisa bahasa Indonesia tuh. Kosong <laughs> benar <bener-bener laughs> Sekarang udah udah lumayan lah, lumayan. Iya, yeah, dulu gua harus nemenin, men. Kita dulu nongkrongnya di Citos loh. Oh my god. <laughs> masih, masih, ada masih ada Citos, tapi udah enggak se-hype dulu. Kalau dulu kan yeah. hype banget kan uh, Citos uh, kan. Dulu tuh rame banget tiap minggu pasti full parkirannya. Uh, Benar-benar enggak bisa sih. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, tapi kan uh, tahun 2003 datang nih. Hmm. Um, of course dulu belum kita enggak pernah lihat tuh pemain yang ada tatonya datang terus kayak American Kid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we never kita enggak pernah dengar nama lo actually dulu sebelum datang. Iya. Yeah. And then lu datang ke tim yang star studded legend dream some, team. Dream team. Ya, yeah, boleh dibilang yeah. dream team juga. Mereka dulu waktu terima lu gimana ya? Gila, Rock. Uh. Jadi ceritanya teman gua di Amerika, bukan uh. orang Indonesia. Uh-huh. Dia kirim email ke my, about my profile okay. ke koran bola. Oh, oke. Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Saya kau bawa ke Mas Agus hmm. Aspak and and came home. And then they call me mm-hmm. langsung. Tanpa pernah lihat gue main, Rock. Wow. Eh, hey, gue kirim tiket ya next week. I'll send you your ticket in a week. I said, I don't even know anything about IBL. Uh-huh. Ini tuh tahun pertama IBL lagi. Yes. I said, give me two weeks. Coba gue understand what's going on. Okay. First. And then gue gue cuma minta one promise. Apa tuh? Pasang gue di national team biar gue bisa represent Indonesia okay. internationally. And well, saat itu, yang Kim Hong and Aspak was the managing mm. uh, team for mm-hmm. the national team. He made good on his promise. Jadi dari one year contract jadi 15 tahun Iraq. Maksudnya 15 tahun gua di Indonesia Indonesia. Main. Yep. Gila sih. Tapi lu kalau di sana juga bisa konsult sama siapa? Di Amerika dulu Nggak belum ada, ada yang sih. banyak kan? Inter- Nggak, apa, apa, apa. Yang tahu yang tahu tentang IBL juga dulu mungkin di Amerika nggak banyak. Nggak ada sama sekali. Dulu ada Asia Basket. Oh, Oke. Okay. Ma- karena masih ada kayaknya, iya, iya. kayaknya masih ada kan? Masih ada ya. Gue agak research di Asia Basket gitu, gue hmm. lihat pemain-pemainnya, ada liganya, liga IBL baru memasuk setelah Kobatama. Uh-huh. Man, and then I'm here now. Gila, But you ya? took the league by storm, man. Gila, 2003 nggak ada mesti jaga lu sih. Oh, the okay. kid with Rockaway. Rockaway. And man, man. Yeah, I remember that. Nggak ada yang tahu Rockaway nih. Rock. <laughs> yang punya Jay Z. Zaman dulu. Zaman zamannya Jay Z lah, oke okay, dulu sih. That was a classic. Tapi pas pertama nyampe gitu lo langsung betah nggak sih di Jakarta? Tahu lo kayak masih oh, culture man. shock gitu? Apa kan lo udah lama nggak di Indonesia kan? Tiga tahun? Udah pindah ke Amerika dulu kalau Dari umur tiga tahun gue uh. pindah ke Amerika. Jadi gue gedenya di Amerika. Mm-hmm. Balik ke sini 2003, kila umur t- 23 lagi. Mm-hmm. Uh, culture shocknya, wow, yes. Enggak, kalau dibilang gampang untuk adjust, enggak. Mm-hmm. Enggak juga, jujur. It was hard, on and off the court. Kan, it's yeah. different. So, it took me about, yeah. 10 years to adjust. <laughs> Enggak lah. Setahun lah. Setahun lah ya. Setahun setengah. Tapi actually, you kind of... Watch me grow up. Pertama kali gue datang lo umur berapa? 16. Lo? 16. Jadi kita ketemu pas lo 16, 16 tahun masih high school. Masih kecil banget. Belum belum ya. belum belum media lah. Belum media <laughs> tapi your dad. Yeah, you know, my dad. Obviously your dad covered uh, yeah. basketball hmm. and sports. Jadi man, I'm proud of you. You know what I mean? Oh man, thank you so much man. We're gonna give you your flowers too today in this video. Oh, that's love. Kita slowly tapi masukin ntar pelan-pelan. <laughs> uh, boss Kim Hong. Yep. Like you said, dia langsung telepon lu kan, mm. kasih lu tiket pesawat. Uh, dia of course 
uh, salah satu owner favorit gua yep. karena he treats his players like his kids like his own kids kayak lu benar dijagain banget yep. benar di service banget sama dia kalau untuk lu sendiri ya hmm. bos figur bos Kim Hong itu what does it mean uh, um, apa ya maksudnya kayak Eh, uh, what does Bos Kim Hong means? Ini kalau dicampur-campur, sorry guys, kalau campur-campur agak bingung juga gue bahasanya. Eh, uh, but what does Bos Kim Hong means to you Gila. and your career? Bos Kim Hong, I think mm-hmm. for me personally, mm-hmm. kalau nggak ada dia take a chance at me, mm-hmm. tanpa lihat gue main, nggak <laughs> ada Mario Wisang di Indonesia gitu. Um, Bos Kim Hong untuk basketball di Indonesia, I think mm-hmm. sangat gede impactnya dia, you know. Of course, you know, Pak Erick Thohir is the you know, mm. game changer, for, yes. and he took Indonesia basketball to where it is today. Also, Kim Hong, I think, is in that conversation also, you know what I mean? Harus, you gotta pay respect to Kim Hong for Indonesia basketball. Kangen sih, let dia di pinggir lapangan with the topik kebalik, oh. and all the crazy pants and everything. Kangen sih. Kangen juga, gue kangen juga sama dia, his character, uh-huh. uh, how he, you know, started an organization yang tra- tradisinya bisa dibilang mm. seperti Lakers kan? Yes. In America, Lakers, Celtics, so... I mean, Kim Hong, man, he's just the iconic figure di basket Indonesia. Yeah, setuju sih, I agree. Iconic figure sih, yeah. guys. Uh, sangat, apa ya, sangat lekat, apa ya, sangat deket banget sih. Kayak figure kok Kim Hong itu sama basket Indonesia sih. And then now, of course, di Indonesia lumayan no back team lah. Yeah, like I said, tadi yang start started Dream Team. Yep. And of course, Indonesia Warriors, CLS, mm-hmm. uh, even Garuda, Garuda gila loh. Sempat Garuda. Garuda gila loh timnya. Enggak, Kelly, Loli, Loli, Lu, terus uh, Denny Sumargo. Ya, Andre Tiara. Iya, yeah, tapi tim itu kenapa nggak bisa reach that level ya? Eh? Well, I think uh, maybe, you know, nggak nggak selalu se- se- kumpulin semua bintang yeah. jadi, you know, sukses. Iya. Yeah. You know, kita juga bisa lihat contoh di NBA. Iya. You know, yeah. Bangun super team nggak selalu berhasil. Phoenix Suns. <laughs> There you go. Uh, It's the newest example. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, tapi I, I think I was only there for satu musim. Right? Okay. Setahun aja nggak sampai. Pak kita semua semangat banget. Lu sama Denny semua gue di situ tuh. Yeah. You know, yeah. Tentu championship. But tapi kalau lu bisa pilih tim kok gue sih pilihnya 2012 ABL team. Oh yeah. With that Stanley Pringle, Evan Brock, uh, Tom, Stephen Steve Thomas. Thomas. Uh, Jerry Kenyada, lalu Arki masuk, Arki, Dodo, Do, iya. uh, Acong. Iya, man. Do you think winning the, I, uh, the ABL was the biggest highlight of your career? Um, I think it was um, one of the most memorable. Okay. Gua, soalnya yeah. that we were so close, Rob. Itu pemain lo sebutin. Mm. We're like family, not just on the court, tapi off the court juga, you know. Kita bisa kalahin San Miguel yeah. di Filipin untuk juara. Yeah, That's at their like, home. At their home. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, itu history, you know, and rest in peace, you know, was Andre Maya also mm. was the uh, owner there, mm. a part owner. It was just an amazing moment, you know what I mean, that I had. Itu yeah. Stanley lagi jago-jagonya lo. Stanley Pringle, oh, itu. Stanley Pringle <laughs> baru masuk Asia. Right? Yeah. The introduction to Stanley Pringle. <sighs> Uh, and he was unreal, man. I mean, he made me better. Kind of, you got Latino media every day, so yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Shout out to Stanley Pringle. That's my brother. Gila, man. Itu benar-benar juga kita semua kayak, oh my god, ada orang main sejago ini. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy, though. Um, of course, after that, we went to CLS, uh, Surabaya. But now, correct me if I'm wrong. Tadi kita udah ngobrol dikit sih sebenarnya sih. Um, sebenarnya sebelum lu pensiun itu, lu main di Wolf. Warriors. Yep. That's, I think you. Zhuhai. I think you retired first and then you I, came back. I oh. did. I retired from uh-huh. CLS. Uh-huh. And Lima Bulan, I was like not away from basketball, out of shape, right? Mm-hmm. Out of basketball shape. Then go di telepon nama team ABL baru nih. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zhuhai Wolf Warriors. So, and then I was like, I did it. You know, I wanted a new challenge. Uh-huh. You know, it didn't pan out seperti gua mau, tapi uh-huh. I, no regrets. No regrets. No regrets on that experience, man. I love but, it. But now I want to ask you this. Yep. Hello, 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 Papa. And I'm again one of the most decorated players yang menang. Even even lumayan bagus juga di FIBA. Like you get recognition from FIBA. You win championships in Indonesia. Um, but I feel like the way you retired, itu not supposed to be like that. Mm. I feel like mm. I think uh, as as a legend as you are. 
Menurut gua lo harusnya dapat a proper retirement. Do you have any regrets like lu enggak main satu tahun lagi misalkan di IBL so you get hmm. a proper uh, farewell tour like we can see Kobe, we can see D Wade, yeah. everybody. Mereka tuh legend banget so they yeah. all the fans kayak tiap kota kasih your proper respect because I think you deserve it uh, for what what you have done for Indonesian basketball. You open the doors for a lot of players from the states you get. Do you have any regrets that you did not end your career in Indonesia? You know, sebagai pemain, this as every basketball player, we want to retire on a good note. Mm-hmm. And maybe gua enggak selesai my last season how I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Tapi that's the way God wanted it to be. That's the way I look at it, you know. Okay. So kalau ditanya ada regret, no. Okay. Um, then kalau dibilang retire on, and you know have my tour, tapi buat tim mana? Go to, go yeah. empat tim, you know what I mean? SM. SM. <laughs> oh man, that was yeah. one of my. Okay, balik lagi yeah. ke ABL kita juara yeah. uh, under SM Indonesia Warriors. Yes. Kan? I mean that was one of my most memorable. Jadi hati gua selalu ada di situ juga, you know what I mean? Dan tadi malam itu gua selalu kepikiran banget sih kayak. When I go, kalau gue ke Britama, of course, gue liat jersey-nya uh, Legend-legend SM, uh, mungkin kayak Ronnie Gunawan, kayak Wahyu, semua ada semua di atas But, kayak ada miss satu aja gitu And you don't have your jersey retired, right? I don't, I don't Gak ada kan yang belum retired, yang digantung di rafters uh, Menurut gue, we need one hmm, Tapi bingung know. tim yang mana ya? I, 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 did, I did win an MVP buat SM Yeah, I feel like yeah, you deserve. Yeah. Lu layak banget your jersey untuk ada di Britama Arena sih. Hmm. But I would love it. Yeah. We need to make it happen. Um, what do you think, man? That gimana sih perasaan lu pas lihat kayak wah ini jersey gua belum digantung sebagai and then come on, man. You like you change the game for Indonesia. Jujur, gua enggak pernah pikirin itu. Uh. I mean Until you brought this up, but oh. it, you know, I never really thought about it. Um, would I love it? Absolutely. Mm. What player doesn't want that, right? Um, Britama Arena is a lot of great memories there for yeah. me. You know, um, wins and losses, but I do feel like a part of my heart in basketball is with that organization. So, if they could make that happen, of course. Kalau lu disuruh pilih, lu mau retire jersey yang mana? Di SM. Kalau di SM. Warriors apa SM? You got two jerseys, right? Satu yeah, nomor, yeah, yeah. satu nomor 18 belas, bukan sih? 18 belas. Yeah, first SM, time. Yep. Yeah, and um, then number two, right? Indonesia number, Warriors. Number two. If you could Warriors. pick, kalau bisa pilih, lu pilih yang mana untuk diri saya? Kenapa nggak bisa dua-duanya? Ah, benar. Hey, Kobe. Karena waktu gue uh, pakai SM di ABL, gue hmm. dapat MVP. Okay. Tapi pas gue uh, Warriors, kita dapat juara. So, kenapa nggak bisa dua-duanya? Something to think about. Something to think about, because I feel like this guy perlu banget sih, karena like I said, dia sekarang sampai diundang ke IBL 20 years yeah. anniversary. Um, you guys know lah impactnya dia sejak datang di Indonesia seperti apa. He kind of started the trend though, Indonesian American. Yeah, yeah man. Jadi gua, gua yang pertama yes. Indonesian American yang pernah balik ke Indonesia untuk yes. main. And then setelah itu ada Arki, 2011 Arki yeah. datang, and then Benny Juwato, yeah, 2015. Juwato. And you know, there's more. So, you know, we'll, we'll get to that point. We'll get to that yeah, point okay. later. Yeah, yeah. But, actually, even gak usah yang jadi pemain uh. IBL. Like, between your time sampai Arki itu, banyak pemain Amerika yang try out, mm. pemain Indonesian American yang try out ke Indonesia, salah satunya gue. He puts a lot of pressure on me though. <laughs> pressure banyak kan? Iya, cause dulu kan gue juga main high school basketball ya yeah. di Amerika kan. Jadi orang dulu mikirnya selalu kan, oh kau yang main di Amerika itu pasti jago. Hmm. Bahkan belum tentu. Belum tentu, belum tentu. The, the level of competition banyak kan. Maksudnya nggak yes. semuanya level kompetisi di high school juga jago yeah. semua. Ada yeah. juga yang kompetisi level bawah juga. Yeah. Jadi yeah. dulu, honestly gue cerita aja sama lo ya. This is my podcast kan. Jadi gue cerita lagi. Jadi gue, gue main high school basketball. Uh, banyak tim-tim, uh, ada beberapa tim IBL yang kayak sempat kontak gue juga kan Kayak untuk, oke okay, Rocky ikut latihan lah And then of course, of course gue abis itu ikut latihannya di ASPA kan Iya, yeah, iya yeah. yeah, Iya, yeah, practice with ASPA Tapi, karena Mario set the bar so high <laughs> Jadi gue kayak pressure juga, kayak oh my god, ntar gue gak bisa main jago gimana ya Kan orang sedang ngeliatnya, Rocky dari Amerika Because yeah, it, yeah. it was 
Uh. Identik kayak gitu kan, kayak oh my god. Tapi uh, but now, alhamdulillah kita juga seneng banget lah, banyak banget yeah. uh, pemain-pemain Indonesia yang sekarang juga mau main di NCA. Tapi sebelum kita ke situ, now lu disarit untuk balik nih setelah yep. uh, karir lu balik ke Amerika uh, stay in Houston right? Yep, I do stay in Houston right now. Yeah. A lot of opportunity, banyak banget kesempatan lu untuk mungkin lu dapat offer tuh jadi assistant coach atau yep. mungkin juga player development coach mm-hmm. di sini. Everybody knows you, semua tahu Mario Usang kok di basket. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows you here in America. Gak banyak mm-hmm. yang tahu tentang Mario Usang. Seberapa sulit keputusan lu? untuk balik ke sana dan tinggalin semuanya yang ada di sini. Oh, enggak juga, Rob. Hmm. Jadi, kayak, you know, America is my home. You know, good dari umur 3 tahun grow up di sana. Um, it's always my home. Mm-hmm. My heart is Indonesia always karena darah gue Indonesia. Mm-hmm. Jadi, you know, my vision my vision is kalau gue bisa bantu kasih channel through my mm-hmm. networks di America untuk uh, basketball Indonesia. That's what I'm gonna give to them, you know. Mau itu in any capacity, mau itu dari kirim pemain uh, dari sana ke sini, heritage players or dari uh, teach and skill hmm. develop players dari sini kirim ke sana ke gua, you know. I have to create that channel, you know what I mean? That, that's my value di sana, uh, uh, being an Indonesian American, hmm. you know. If I come here, gua bisa ngelati, tapi We have to have. I want to create that channel, that hmm. bridge, gitu loh. So biar bantu sebenarnya anak-anak yang dari Amerika yang mungkin nggak tahu tentang basket yeah, di Indonesia, they can get banyak informasi dari lu. Of course, can. Then mereka juga anak zaman sekarang, you know, tinggal uh, social media. Google, social media. <laughs> Jadi, you know, mereka lihat gua kayak, wow, dia pernah do this, He, dia pernah achieve all this di Indonesia. Emang ada opportunity untuk gua main luar gitu, hmm. outside of America. Of course, then you know. Itu gua guide them, mentor them, and also teach them on the court. So it's many different things, you know, that um, they come for me for. Tapi banyak gak sih yang tertarik gitu kayak, wih, kayaknya asik yang main di Indonesia gitu, banyak gak? Of course, Mana? banyak banget, banyak banget. Dan ternyata banyak banget pemain sekarang, you know, in heritage ya, yeah. yang ada darah Indonesia, mau itu campuran, or, you know, 100% Indonesia, tapi lahir di sana, banyak. And they're interested. Mereka cuma gak tahu. Ada opportunity atau enggak? Uh, Itu gua, you know, I told them, ya, yeah, oh ada opportunity. Gua pernah jalanin ini, ini, ini. You can represent the national team segala macam. Jadi mereka dengerin gua gitu loh. Okay. Dan keluarganya mereka juga, wow, gitu. Oh bisa. So I'm guiding them. You know what I mean? They come to me for guidance. Okay. Wow. The and training. And training. Yeah. <laughs> Itu paling penting tuh. Training. <laughs> and the trainingnya juga gua bisa. Eh, hey, lu mesti improve di sini. Okay. Lu mesti, you know, improve at different things your skill. Jadi gue bisa evaluasi langsung, you know what I mean? Yeah. Apa yang paling lo enjoy training? Beda ya sama pemain kan? Kalau jadi trainer yeah, harus yeah. sabar kayak. Harus sabar, you know. Uh, I would say, you know, <laughs> the next best thing to playing is uh, coaching uh-huh. and training, right? Because you're still involved in the game, gitu. Yeah. So that, itu fulfilling banget buat gue, Rob. Oh, wow. kayak, kayak, you know, gue lihat ini anak improve gitu. Oh, itu yang fulfilling oh, banget. Oh, man. You know, man. I, the best feeling. You know uh, what I'm saying? I, I, I know what you saying, cause gue kalau ngelihat kayak dulu um, anak-anak high school yang gue liput di sini gitu, oh. terus kayak mereka make it to the pro, gue bisa merinding loh. Gue bisa merinding. Yeah. I'm like, gue kalau ngelihat kemarin kayak pertama kali ya saya sama Arigi masuk yeah. final IBL wow. last year, yeah. like I wanna cry. Wow. Like menurut gue tuh kayak, wah wow, gue ngikutin mereka dari SMA and now they are here and and doing well. And doing well and in the biggest stage. stage. Yeah, yeah. Like so I could see why, it's, cause For me, juga gue waktu itu cerita sama istri gue kayak, oh my god, gue juga that's my purpose in life, mm, I think. Exactly, that, that's the key word right there. It's uh-huh. the purpose. Kayak gue jujur gue nggak mau balik ke basket setelah gue pensiun ya. Gue nggak ada rencana mau balik ke basket, tapi it's naik I, gunung soalnya. Yeah, I, mean, I wanted to do other things, uh-huh. but, tapi kayak basket nggak 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 pernah jauh dari gue gitu. It uh-huh. pulled me back, so it's purpose. Yeah. The give back, you know what I mean? I think the give back. Man. The yeah, give back itu lo bener kayak dalam hati lo tuh kayak lo bener. Oh shit. I just, exactly. I just did that. You know? yeah. So, you just recently held the Indonesia Heritage Night eh? yeah. di Ontario yeah. Clippers. Yeah. Itu gimana sih caranya sama mereka tiap tahun ada ya? Atau gimana sih? Uh, kemarin, di Februari kemarin itu yang kedua. Okay. Tapi yang pertama kali uh, tahun sebelumnya itu during COVID. Okay. So it was like a test trial, you know. Okay. 
tapi yang ke- kemarin ini Februari they they came to me and said you do whatever you want with it you know your ideas you know hmm. please help us and kita we did it big you know kita all my players yang Indonesia heritage uh-huh. go kumpulin dari ada yang dari Texas dari California kita kumpulin kita lawan Statham Academy uh-huh. shout out to Taylor Taylor <laughs> in Santa Clarita uh-huh. um, kita lawan dia and it was successful man Indonesian team and event event kayak gitu yang Indonesian basketball di sini bisa lihat kayak oh wow kita ada the next Mario Wisnu mm-hmm. the next Arki Wisnu you know what I mean the next Brandon Jawatos ada banyak gitu you know it's it's exciting for, it is. for Indonesian basketball mereka bisa lihat siapa tahu next couple of years they're gonna be here playing for a team or or national team whatever so yeah kita k- kasih opportunity and channel buat itu to be honest kayak pas ada lu datang Arki datang mm. And then Brandon Jawado datang, itu hype yang naik like, masih kita kita mau bayar gitu untuk yeah, nonton yeah. kalian main tuh kita mau karena the sisi sisi apa ya kayak just bring a different swag lah, right, right. udah dibilang kayak gitulah. Yeah. Kalau lu lihat Arki dulu, pert- aduh kita sorry ya bentar ya kita pindah ke Arki bentar ya. Lu kok ingat Arki dulu pertama kali datang gimana? Oh, very quiet lagi ini. Very very quiet, you know. 2011 gue gue inget banget kita sparring. Uh-huh. Di, dia SM kan, dia belum main tapi kita just practice uh-huh. SM lawan timnas saat itu gue di timnas, kita sparring gue liat dia kayak, wow man, it, it's like I'm looking at myself oh gitu. my god, yeah. you know I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Datang, I was like jadi kita dari situ, kita getting close, you know what I mean? Okay. of course, right? you know, I wanna guide him, I wanna help him apa yang, gue bilang ke dia saat itu apa yang lo perlu, you mm-hmm. wanna just talk man, ini nomor gue gitu, like, you know gue ngerasa Arki harus lebih sering di mention di GOAT list <laughs> absolutely, yeah. 100% I seen his ability dari situ, pertama kali datang, I was like this guy knows how to play, you know, yeah, he does. he's tough, so yeah we got close and then we got national team yeah. together, so yeah shout out to Arki, oh, yeah. the dog, that, dia panggil lah selalu dog, dog, <laughs> he got that dog in him dog. Uh, uh, but we go back to the Indonesia Heritage Night um, are they gonna, apakah mereka akan sering collab sama lo ke, ke depannya? oh iya, yeah. so because it was so successful kemarin di mm-hmm. Februari, they asked us to do it again when? Do they have the date? Oh, we're looking at November. Okay. But I think that we can move that around. It's, okay. It's up to us when we'll pick the best date and probably the best game we can do it in. Um, so yeah, it's coming around this year again. Uh, part two of Indonesian Heritage Night with the Ontario Clippers. Do you think? Be on the lookout. Yeah. Kan kemarin ada berapa pemain yang Indonesia American ada? Yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven yeah. Shout out to Jeff. <laughs> well, Shout out to Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Hey, gila. Jeff juga bantu le. Jeff juga bantu, and kan salah satu pemain anaknya Jeff, yeah, Gavin. Gavin, shout out to Gavin So Gavin, you know, I train mm-hmm. So, I mean, he's, Indonesia already knows about Gavin because yes. of him too uh, And he'll be here soon, you guys yeah. will be able to see Gavin in the future first hand Ya kan? Iya, yeah, of course, uh, gue suka banget work ethic sih Yeah, At Gavin's the... a beast, I mean, badannya, yeah. the college, NCAA ready Yeah, he's going um, to yeah. D3 Yeah, great yeah. asset for Indonesia Of course, of course um, Ini kan kemarin pas lu udah bikin acara itu ya Banyak gak sih orang-orang tua lainnya kayak Eh, gue, anak gue juga punya darah Indonesia nih, mau Man, dong diajak juga gitu That's the thing, Rock, you know uh, Responsnya setelah event ini di, uh-huh. di Ontario Clippers Gue di telepon-telepon, eh, hey, I'm Indonesian juga, gitu, uh. anak-anak gue di high school, di kasih datanya, gitu-gitu uh. gitu. Yang di Minnesota, gitu, wow. contoh, you know So, like, there's a lot, We they just don't know they have an opportunity, then uh. they don't, ke- kebanyakan kan mereka lahir di sana okay. Jadi, bukannya mereka nggak tahu mereka Indonesia, tapi they don't grow up in Indonesian community okay. Same like me when I was growing up, so Masih, tapi lu loma linda lah, banyak lah No, gue grew up in Indiana Oh, no, Indiana, oke okay. No Indonesian, so, you know, pas mereka lihat ada event ini, oh, who's the, who's running the event, oh, Mario Wiesang, they google Mario Wiesang uh. Jadi, ada, ada relationship di situ, ada connection gitu, mm-hmm. and then they gravitate towards that That's how we can, you know, help bring them here and help Indonesia by bringing them here, you know. Berarti banyak nih. Banyak. <laughs> More to come. More to Kapan come. Kapan nih dirilis-rilis gitu kita kan ke, kita yeah. selalu excited ya kalau kita ada pemain campuran di sana. Yeah. Uh, kita boleh ngomong kayak karena udah ada Xavier Ford, maybe kayak uh, Zain Adnan. Yeah. Kita tuh pasti selalu kayak 
Oh my god, nih karena size mereka gede, yeah. like kalau pemain campurannya bisa 6-3, 6-4 gitu, itu bakal cocok banget untuk uh, main di our national team. Yeah, yeah. Kalau ini kira-kira kapan waktu yang tepat untuk uh, misalnya untuk lo ya untuk uh, expose their names, yeah. like promoting them? Yeah. Kapan tuh kira-kira biasa? Well, dengan event kayak gitu, that's a start. You okay. know, we're exposing the players like that. Um, we're going to continue to do that. You know, we're, we're we're already speaking with people. We're creating a channel where, you know, these players must be the liat, okay, you know, serious. You know, you know, growing up in America, the skill level is different. Our different. training's different. That's from a young age. You know, our mentality is different. You know, it, it's kita beda sama like Philippine contoh. Yeah. In the Philippines, like Philippine Americans, banyak kan, banyak pilihannya. Indonesia untuk di basket kurang gitu. You know what I mean? So kalau ada mereka kumpul, and that's they're, they're gravitating towards me. So I'm gonna give them the opportunity. Harusnya di BL All Star lawannya Ro Academy aja sih. I think they're younger though, right? The high BL school. All-Star? High school. Oh, high school. High school. I'm open to that. Absolutely. Yeah. I think so, mereka bisa, mereka, I don't know ya sekarang ini katanya mereka ke Chicago, mereka akan mainnya lawan, mereka akan ikut turnamen yeah, yang yeah. licensed by NCAA katanya. Oke. Okay. Uh, tapi kalau menurut gue, I think anak-anak SMA ini kalau melihat, they need to see a figure. They need to see a figure, that's the connection, ya. Yeah? Iya. Yeah. Sangat penting menurut gue. Iya, yeah, jadi mereka bisa kayak tahu, oke, okay, oh this guy been through it, this guy has done it. Yeah, yeah. Jadi, they play ikut turnamen-turnamen gitu nih kayak you know yeah, they no, could I learn see. a lot from you gitu. Absolutely. That's mm-hmm. what I'm here for. I think that's my purpose uh-huh. calling too, right? I mean, I you, you can you can uh, you can't identify with just anyone. Yeah. The connection, the training, the relationship is very important if you can identify with the person. Yeah. So, that's what I'm here for. Kira-kira one day bisa enggak ya kayak Lalu bikin nih misalnya di Houston ya, di Houston gitu, lo bikin kayak bawa nih 15 lah kita bilang 15 anak high school terbaik di Indonesia gitu. That's what we want to do. Bisa gak kira-kira kayak, let's say summer lah, the whole summer lah, 3 bulan gitu. Yeah. Like you provide the place to live, Absolutely. and then you train them every day, bikin sparring gitu, bisa gak sih? Bisa, bisa banget. That's what we're trying to create, we're, we're talking yeah. to, to, about that here on our trip. Um, because you know AAU. Yes. I don't think uh, a lot of Indonesians understand ngerti, AAU, ya, uh, what a we can also get in that later but AU is a, basically a summer program you know that Tapi kan udah mulai sih di sini udah mulai kayak banyak summer tournament gitu. Mereka sebutnya di, di summer di, di, di Indonesia. I think that's great and mm. they need that. Tapi they need to send like the ones with potential mm. to America for the AU summers so we could train, compete, train, yeah. compete. Because the AU competition level is is going to be helpful for these players here. Nah, kalau di Amerika kan AU Ini jadi ngomongnya deep nih. Uh, AAU kan biasanya lawannya lumayan seimbang-seimbang lah. Ini jagoan-jagoannya. Yeah, biasanya yeah. kan kita sebutannya itu apa sih? Traveling team. Traveling team, ya. Yeah. Uh, kalau di Indonesia, problem ya. I think the biggest problem is satu tim jago banget, satu tim jelek banget. Yeah. Jadi skornya kayak bisa beda 80, beda 70. It's not good, right? Well, that, that's why, you know, they need to set up a, a system where it's more competitive. Mm-hmm. And susah di Indonesia right now. That's yes. why you, you need to send the ones that are semi ready with potential over there, so they can really compete and improve. Yeah, kan? Sebenarnya mereka harus ngerti mentalitinya aja sih. That's 90% mental, you know, basket. 10% physical in my opinion. So. Yeah, karena of course di di Indonesia lo, okay, gua paling jago. Hmm. Di Amerika you might. No, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna learn hard lessons that's hmm. going to humble you. Yeah. And make you want to work harder, you know, to improve. Yeah, I think kalau pemain-pemain basket gitu ya mau emang apalagi. Kau pasti sebenarnya orang baik banyak nanya gue, orang-orang tua ya, parents. Uh. Banyak yang DM gue kayak nanya, gimana sih cara dapetin D1 scholarship gitu? Kalau lu nggak bisa, lu kalau main di Indonesia lu nggak akan bisa dapat exposure gitu loh. Right. Lu harus oh. main di Amerika gitu. And that's what AU gives them, right? A channel because yeah. AU system is a summer system. Where all the youth players, you know, hmm. from what 12 to 18, compete. Di dalam di dalam uh, games yang ada coaches, yeah. college coaches, college coach. NCAA coaches. So, you know, Rock. I know banyak orang Indonesia nggak ngerti, tapi like it's so hard to get yeah. in a, a scholarship. Well, in, in Division three, two, yeah. or one, or in NAI, JC. So, you know, when a, when a, 
when a kid gets an opportunity in any college level to get a scholarship to play for a team, that's, man, that's huge. You know, shout out to Gavin. He just... Russell and Yo, too. Russell and Yo, too. Yeah. Shout out to Russell. Mm. That's my guy, too. Um, they just got an opportunity to play at the mm. college level. Man, that's a blessing, you know what I mean? Is. And it's hard. It's competitive. It's hard to get in there. So, man, that's a testament to their hard work and their ability. Yeah. Perbasi, tolong dong suruh bikin seminar. I think you should do a seminar, sih, kayak tentang educate the parents here, yeah. like, untuk gimana sih untuk bisa kayak get a scholarship ataupun juga dapat a, even a walk on. I don't think people here ngerti walk on sih. They don't understand what a walk on is either. I mean, I'm definitely open to seminar rock, you know, to yeah. a clinic to educate, right? Yes. Uh, parents, coaches, players, you know, it, it's it, we got to communicate it, right? Yes. We got to communicate. Karena gua tahu baik banget parents yang pengen banget anaknya obsesi banget anaknya pengen main college basketball in the of states. Course. Tapi mainnya SMA-nya di sini gitu. Yeah. Kan di sini enggak mungkin loh. Kalau Derek semua nanya kenapa Derek bisa karena Derek masuk ke NBA Academy. Mm-hmm. So they have they have connection, they have exposures. Right. Jadi and, and also mm-hmm. Ron, you know, once you once you get that opportunity, that's where the work begins too. Yes. That's a new chapter of hard work, you know. It's not like oh go dapat ini, go yeah. dah, that's it. No. Yeah. Once you get there, can you stay in that position? Yes. Can you can you get playing time? Yeah. So it, it's not that easy, you know. It's not easy to get to that level at any of those levels. I know it's not easy. I think even untuk Derek ya, the GCU, especially his position. Yeah. Kayak um, tiga empat itu berapa banyak lagi yang di NCAA Divisi satu yang kayak juga setinggi dia, sekenceng dia. Mungkin juga lompatan mungkin lebih eksplosif. Yeah, and lo, nah. lo juga tahu karena lo pernah tinggal yes. di sana. You know, banyak pemain jago banget, not yeah. even make it. Yeah. Not even be able to go to college, get a scholarship. Banyak yang jago banget yeah. banget gitu. You know what I mean? Sometimes makanya orang di sini enggak ngerti kayak seberapa susahnya sih. I think kalau lu jago orang mikir sih oh ya kalau lu jago di Indonesia you gonna go, you gonna be good. Doesn't work like that in America. Iya. Yeah. Jadi yeah. makanya itu kenapa I think di sini parents parents itu harus lebih di educate sih yes. tentang yeah. bagaimana prosesnya mungkin dari SMP, SMA biar kayak anak lu bisa dapat exposure yep. dan ada chance untuk uh, masuk ke sana untuk dapat college scholarship karena Gavin he's been there yeah, he's been forever. There. He went through the whole system, guys. Yeah. AU high school, uh, junior high high school. I mean, he went through the system and the training. So, gue juga salut banget sama Russell. Oh, me too. I'm sh- man. Dia dari Cirebon pindah ke Damien High School, gak dapat menit playing time. You know, transferred to uh, uh, TMG Prep. Yes. Um, and it dua tahun terakhir loh. Bener-bener nyari loh. Yeah. He work he working his ass off untuk bisa dapat scholarship yang sekarang ini dia dapat offer karena yeah. dia usaha banget dan ini anak bener determinasi tinggi banget sih. And gue lihat sendiri in my own eyes, you know Russell, how hard he works. Yeah. So you know, I, I know Russell. Um, I seen it in my own eyes how, what kind of hard worker and his work ethic is, and he's very talented. Uh, man, I'm so proud of him. I'm very happy. Gue happy banget untuk Russell bisa dapat akhirnya. Gila dia main AAU sana, main AAU sini, gila sih kok karena ya lo gak ada capeknya. Yeah, Tapi dia bilang ya harus kayak gitu, yeah, biar harus, dapat harus. attention dan juga ada di notice sama yeah. pelatih kalau Sekarang kita balik ke Derek Michael dikit ya, kita okay. tahu ini adalah uh, big year setelah kita tahu what happened to him with the collapse lungs and then of course red shirt it. Lo udah pernah ngobrol sih sama Derek Michael? Yeah, yeah, we've talked before, uh, it's been a while, it's mm-hmm. been a long time, but you know, we communicated through uh tags and things okay. like that. Karena waktu gua masih main, he was still very young. Okay, yeah. Um then gua retired. That's when he started coming on the scene. Yes. Um but it's funny because my mother ternyata gua juga baru tahu ini this couple months ago. My mom and his mom know it have a mutual close friend. Oh, ah. And they were able to call each other. Like okay. his mom called my mom and they were talking. So it, it's just like the you know, what what a small world, right? Yeah. So shout out to Derek, man. If you hear me, um, I know it's been a long time since we talked, but I always got your back. I'll, you know, anything you need, I'm on full support and I'm proud of you. Then, apa sih biasanya yang ditanya sama Derek? Kalau dia mau nelfon kita dulu. Oh, dulu it, it was about like you know just basketball in America, colleges. Okay. You know what are good colleges, things like that, and he kept me up to date. Walked into uh, about you know these the colleges he was narrowing it yeah, down yeah. to. So yeah, just stuff like that. Kalau lu bisa kasih dia advice for his first year in college, what would be that advice? 
Um, you're going to run through a lot of obstacles, you know, it's normal. Mm -hmm. I, I went through the same obstacles when I went to college, you know, it's a growing process. Don't get down on yourself. Focus on getting better every day. Just keep your focus on basketball, getting better, getting better, even when times are hard. And doors will open up for you eventually if you keep that focus on working hard. Could you see you lah, nonton? Do you see? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Phoenix. Yeah, I would love to, man. Mm. I, you know, I wanted to watch. Karena uh, gue di Houston kan. Uh. Uh, last year, when I got a schedule, lawan Sam Houston. Itu okay. just outside of Houston, but he was redshirted. Okay. So I couldn't go, but I was excited, you know, to see him. But this year, Derek, uh, I'm gonna go see you play, brother. And of course, lo juga gue liat di Instagram sekali udah ngelati ya, train with Zain Adnan. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was able to meet Zayn and talk uh, to his family. And then, gue belum pernah nonton dia sih, so yeah. I have no clue how he plays and everything. Can you give us sedikit aja scouting reportnya lah tentang Zayn? Zayn, Zayn's about 6'3", um, athletic, uh, great shooter, uh, good size, good handle, uh, and he's a killer. Yeah, he's you playing know? D1. Yeah, he's, he's going to U Albany uh -huh. um, in, in upstate New York. Um, he's a killer, you know, his mentality, I could see, I could see he's hungry, you know what I mean? Uh, for just from talking to him and training him, he's a hungry kid, he wants to get better, and he's a gym rat. Gym rat? Wow, that's he's good though, rat. if he's a gym yeah. rat, that's good. He's Jadi, bisa lah dia ke timnas lah kira-kira. Oh, for yeah. sure, for sure. His talent is on that level. Yeah, his talent is definitely on that level, I think he, I think he could be in timnas, like right now, for <laughs> sure. Wow. Yeah, at 18, but you know, mm -hmm. continue yeah. to work hard, Zane, and I'm proud of you too, man. Ya, yeah, I think um, in a couple more years lah like, kita akan lihat banyak sih mungkin yang dari NCA selesai. I hope so. Entar akan main di timnas That, dan juga. That's what I'm trying to help out with. Uh -huh. eh, ngom ngomongin ini lah, Ro Academy kan yeah. banyak pemain. Maksudnya ada beberapa pemain lu bilang tuh ada tujuh. Yeah. Um, katanya nih udah ada beberapa pemain yang dilihat sama tim IBL. Hmm. Um, mereka kok itu. Mereka mau pasti mau college dulu dong. Gak mungkin dari mereka langsung mau dari even though mereka sih yeah. mostly high school, right? High school, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Tapi advice apa sih yang lo kasih kayak mendingan di sana dulu deh, jangan ke Indonesia dulu gitu. Well, you know, I mean, the dream is to go to college right? yes. and play play for a college. So you know, kalau mereka dapat itu opportunity untuk play college basketball, of course they and, and get their education, of course, you know, that's first priority, right? Uh -huh. um, basketball di Indonesia untuk mereka karena mereka ada darah Indonesia. Akan ada. Oh yeah. It'll always be there for them, you know. Up, so get better in college, improve your game. Then uh, pass the psychology. Then you come here, you're already like ready, ready. Tapi pemain lu mostly pasti akan dapat lah college scholarship. Yeah, oh no, for sure, for sure. You know, in, in that seven, my youngest, I have two 16 year olds. Okay. And one 17 year old. They're still in high school. Mm -hmm. um, all all varsity players, you know. Uh, one in Dallas, one in Houston, and uh, one in Roland Heights, Charlton. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're gonna be special, you know. They're gonna be special. Oh, man, I cannot wait to to let mereka semua entar ke grow. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'm excited. And then lihat ter mereka akhirnya end up mainnya di mana sih? Because you know. Kita selalu excited lah untuk ada pemain yeah. dari mixed blood. No disrespect dong untuk pemain lokal doa. Tapi pemain lokal pun of juga course. di sini uh, banyak juga yang growing and then juga getting better. Um, okay, lu sebagai trainer, yep. what is your ultimate goal? Apa sih dream lu sebagai trainer you know, sekarang ini? I mean, I I love just right now. I just got in last year kan, baru setahun. Um, I started my own academy. Sebelum my own academy. I was working for 2360. Okay. Uh, Is that the Muchi Norris with the one with, with Muchi? Me and Muchi Norris were yeah. the uh, trainers there. Yeah. And I just started my own academy because I was thinking, you know, it's I could do this on my own as well. I want to try. Uh, you know, my vision for my academy is just to grow it as much as I can and help as many people as I can in the beginning. But now it, it turned into so many different things where mm -hmm. I can help, right? And Salah satu is these Indonesian heritage players. Tapi yeah. timnas nggak pernah apa nawarin lo gitu? Uh, untuk? Untuk, adalah jadi player development for Indonesia. Oh, I mean, I don't. Think Tapi spe specifically timnas ya, timnas lah. Oh, timnas. timnas. We never had that conversation yet. Hmm. Um, I, I, like the people that's managing them, uh, I don't really know them too well. Mm -hmm. Tapi I'm open to anything for sure. You know, gue sih terbuka, man. You know, I'm open to whatever I can help with. Um, we'll see down the line, you know. Karena your brain, anak-anak mm. muda tuh harus bisa pick your brain, cause yeah. you know, 
uh, of course you are like one of the greatest that ever played. Uh, Oke, sekarang kita pindah topik lagi. Uh, Indonesian basketball getting better every year. Kita main baru bikin history uh, last year in the yeah. FC Games with the gold medal. Um, let's play what if, what if. Okay. But no disrespect though untuk para semua pemain senior. If we have Derek Michael and Marcus Bolden mm-hmm. playing with you. Hmm. Menurut lo, dulu bas- kalau lo bisa main sama mereka, basket Indonesia bisa ada di level lain. Dulu, dulu. Dulu. Oh, wow. Oh. I mean, you give me you give me a guy like Marcus for example. Yeah. Oh, man, I think, you know, it would be Pick and roll, oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I believe kita bisa dapat medali emas for sure. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, gila. Satu aja. Satu aja. Satu aja. You give me Marcus, you know, pick and roll. Even game. in Asia, I think. Level. In Asia, yeah, you know, I, I definitely in my prime, pasti. Gila. Oh, tapi yeah. FIBA memori yang paling lo remember? Kayaknya lo pernah nyetak 30 poin ya. Yeah, FIBA yeah. Asia, FIBA Asia di Jepang, uh, lawan Syria. Uh, they oh. had a, a one of the best guards in Asia juga, Mike Medanley. Okay, Medanley. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, gua lawan dia. Um, you know, I think I had like 33. 33. 33. Yeah, yeah. I try to find the highlights. Gak ada tapi di YouTube kemarin. I know. <laughs> Iku cari. Yeah, yeah. Susah banget. And, and it, tournament itu kan Asian wow. Asian Games, Asia Cup. Uh, gua top 15 in scoring di situ. Wow. And then 2011 nomor 1 di assist. So yeah. I mean, you give me a big, it's a different story. It is, I know. You know. Gila sih. So, yeah. Um, of course kalau gua tanya your biggest competition probably you would say Jimmy Alapak lah. Oh iya, yeah. ya kita balik ke yeah. Indonesia. Gua ba- kita balik, dia balik ke Filipina, gua balik ke Indonesia the same year. He was winning championships over there, I was winning championships <laughs> here. Um Kalau lu bisa ingat dari apa? Ya, did you guys ever play against each other? We did. We played against each other in Siaba in Thailand. Okay. Uh, I remember that, and I want to say another time. We didn't meet in in Asia Cup 2007. Okay. He was in a different bracket. Okay. We were in different brackets. But I've known Jimmy for a long time, uh-huh. you know, and I think we kind of understood each other's career, you know, as we kept going forward. Matter, I got nothing but respect. Shout out to Jimmy, man. Mm. He's doing amazing things. Get the uh, Sacramento Kings. Kings. Right? So that's a dream. Yeah, udah lama, kita, <laughs> udah lama kita gak ketemu. Yeah. So I hope, I hope we can connect. You know, whether it be here or stateside. Shout out to Jimmy, man. And do you still believe? Bakal ada orang Indonesia masuk NBA? Absolutely. It's, it's inevitable. You know, mm. that's that's the that's the goal. I think you know, as any player, to and that, that would fulfill my heart. You know, if I was to be a part of the insp- inspiring that. Yes, absolutely. We yeah. have to always look that way, you know. Always look to that to that yeah. standard. I think one day see I don't know when. Hopefully in our lifetime though. Yeah. Hopefully so it will we happen. Can, so we can witness it. It will happen. Oh my god, that will be really sweet though. Yeah. To see ada hatu main Indonesia main di NBA. We'll get there. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get yeah. there though. Um bro, this is probably the toughest question today. Kan kita suka main nih, top 5. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, uh, banyak banget lah orang kita, kita kalau ngomongin GOAT, all time, greatest of all time, gak bakal habis lah. Gak semua, bakal habis. Yeah, semua orang pasti punya pendapat yang beda-beda. Yeah. Okay. That's NBA. Oh, <laughs> Now we talking okay, about okay. IBL. Okay. okay, I mean like people can say you, Ali Budi Mansya, and of course juga kita bisa bilang Arki. But, give me your top 5 Indonesian basketball player of all time. Top 5? Just top 5. No, just... Gak usah ada posisinya, just top 5. Top five, I would say Budi, um, Inal, uh, Ronnie Gunawan, um, Wayu. Five. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. That last one is tough. <laughs> Top five. You don't need to be precision. It could be precision less. Uh, Either, either Batam or Yayan. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because cuma bisa lima kan? At least it's okay. We could get six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, Batam and Yayan. Top six. Yeah. yeah, I would say those are my top. What do you like the most about Yayan? Yayan is very skilled. You know, mm-hmm. pertama kali gue lihat Yayan and Batam, 
gue imagine kayak kalau gue bawa mereka ke Amerika waktu ma- masih kecil gitu, I think man they're gonna be exceptional gitu, cause you know skill wise they they're very good, uh-huh. yeah, just so much to I I could see their improvement kalau mereka uh-huh. di Amerika, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think masih aja nggak, yeah sangat entertaining. Shout out to Yayan, too. I haven't seen Yayan in yeah, so long. Yeah, sangat entertaining juga sih main flashy one. Gifted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay now just you in Indonesia kita tahu with that shit. Yeah, SPO gua, serious player only. Gue penasaran sih. Yeah. Um, so this is a shoe company. It's a shoe company, yeah. And then how did they discover you though? Gimana cara tahu bisa tahu lu gitu? Oh, I, I kind of discovered them, you know. Oh, okay. It was through this social media uh-huh. world that we live in, but I think it was a mutual connection, you know. Um, it was just inevitable that we had to collaborate. Mm-hmm. Um, cuz I think that's the The shoe, the performance level of the shoe, the style of the shoe is just amazing. You know, kind of reminds you of the old Kobe's. Uh-huh. Um, but it, it's it's an upcoming brand, and I think you know it's going to take the world by storm. Jadi ini, lo di Jakarta kayak promosiin sepatu ini atau? Yo, oh, yeah, pasti, <laughs> pasti. And I actually play in these too. Oh, you play in these? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, shout out to Denny. I beat beat Denny in this. <laughs> <laughs> Lo ngalahin poin Denny Sumargo ya? Oh, I'm gonna let him tell you. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's a high performance shoe. Oh, okay. Right, you know. Bakal, kita bisa lihat gak dari pemain IBL yang kayak ini nih? Wait and see. So, you're gonna see it very soon, IBL players. Tapi, this is the PE, uh-huh. um, Garuda Wands, Uncle Ro okay. versions. Uh, obviously, yang merah putih, uh-huh. Indonesia, so. Gak bisa lihat nih, copotin aja nih. <laughs> gak kelihatan di kamera. Ah, uh, there, that one. There you go. Uh-huh. Akan, akan, it's coming soon, so, you know, stay This tuned This is huge. It's dope. This is a huge movement. Yeah, it is a huge movement. Wow, yeah. you got your own shoes. Sneaker, yeah, blessing. Shout out to SPO, serious player only. Harusnya tahun 2003 nih, gila. Kalau tahun 2003 punya sepatu, oh my God. Yeah. Everybody gonna buy it, sih, gila sih. Masih inget gak sih hype-nya pas lo datang? Oh ada. man, inget banget. Apalagi gue masuknya Aspak. Yeah. You know, Dream Team. So, oh man, hype-nya gila. Dulu penuh banget nonton Hall A lo. Damn. Itu yang gue bilang. Gue selalu ditanya, gimana IBL sekarang dan dulu? Gue bilang, I think it's amazing sekarang. Iya. Yeah. But yeah. lebih teratur. Lebih teratur. You know, dulu, 2003, lo gak ada. Iya. Yeah. Gak ada yang bisa duduk. Gak bisa duduk. Duduk bawah, kadang-kadang juga ada yang di court side gitu, yeah. duduknya di lantai tapi. Duduk di lantai, <laughs> itu gila atmosfernya kan. Apa yang gak bisa masuk kadang-kadang ke hall A itu. Gak bisa masuk, napas aja gak Susah bisa ya. saking rambut. I miss that, I miss those times though. I do too. To itu gila honest. sih. It was a little too crazy maybe, yeah. but you know, wow. Gue ada foto-fotonya gak? <laughs> masih ada, kan udah kukir, udah kukir kadang-kadang. Wah yeah. <laughs> oh, Rico masih kontrol dulu. Oh. Gara-gara lu gak dia jadi, oh saya sampai kono Amerika banget kayaknya Rico dulu. Tapi itu sama asik sih, menurut gue. Asik banget. Itu gue, wah gue pasti inget sih juga. Oh my God. Tapi gue juga kemarin sebenarnya gak di Jakarta waktu itu. Kan aku sih high school oh, di Amerika. That's right, that's right. So I just came. Your dad covered it. Iya, yeah, my dad foto. Iya. Yeah. He's got all the pictures. Iya, yeah, 2005 juga. Yes, dari, dari 2003 sampai 2006 tuh kebanyakan bokap gue. Iya, yeah, iya yeah, benar benar. Dia, terus dia kayak rekamin gue DVD gitu. Jadi kan suka ada di TV kan. Iya, yeah, iya. Yeah, yeah, dia yeah, rekamin yeah. di DVD, terus bawain gue ke Amerika. Terus gue nonton, dulu kan belum ada Youtube Iya yeah, bener, good yeah. times uh, uh, good gitu. time. Kalau ada social media zaman itu uh. Oh man, Kesel- social media baru masuk 2013 Iya yes. kan? yeah, dari 2003 sampai 2013 gak ada social media yeah. That was ya yeah, prime gue tuh Itu prime lo tuh <laughs> Gila lo, gue followers tuh sebanyak banget oh, tuh kok zaman dulu gila seru, sih seru, Tapi seru. tadi itu emang seru banget sih But bro, thank you so much though Man, for, thank you brother For taking your time Um, semoga kita bisa make it happen. Jersey in the rafters. We gotta make it happen. I don't know. Who, Let's do it. Who, who do we need to call, man? <laughs> talk, talk to my agent. <laughs> Siapa kita bisa telepon di SM TV Rita untuk okay, make it happen? Karena I think you deserve it. I appreciate like, it. Thank you. Uh, I follow your career, man, from 2003, man. Like, I really... Gua beberapa kali gua ngerasain, like when you win that, when you won that ABL champion, nih, gua, gua ada di situ, yeah, like I, I was taking pictures. I know. Jadi gua kayak ngeliat lu juga winning bronze medal, the Sea yeah. Games, yeah. Um, with all your accolades. Yeah. I think uh, for me, personal opinion, you are the greatest of all time. I appreciate you. In Indonesia, so. I appreciate. You. I'm proud of you too, man. Come on. I really appreciate. I watch you grow up too, so I'm proud of you, Rock. Yeah, and then uh, kemarin ini. My my community, 
Ya, shout out to Taiwan Gang. Gang. Taiwan Gang. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Pas gue masuk lapangan, all you guys back there shouting Uncle yeah. Ro, man. Itu warm welcome that I was surprised about. It, that filled my heart. So shout out to Time Out Gang. <laughs> Thanks to this guy, man. Yeah, so I appreciate you so much, but I mean, I wish that I wish we could give you a farewell tour of, for real. Appreciate like, it. you know, I think um, you probably didn't know like how big of an impact you made for Indonesian mm. basketball. Maybe you just on the court like, oh yeah, kita menang yeah. ini, menang ini. Tapi like the kids that you inspired and everything, I think. Banyak banget masih orang yang main basket, gara-gara oh, kita nonton Mario yeah. Usang, yeah. nonton Mario Usang pasti banyak. Even in the States, yeah. I would probably say the same thing. Gila gue kalau ke Amerika, kita inget gak kita tanding kayak even cuma permias yeah, doang? Iya, yeah, bener. Kayak orang-orang ngeliat lu kayak, yeah. oh my god, it's Mario Usang, it's Mario Usang. Cause, that, cause yeah, you were like that guy. Kalau orang anak sekarang, sekarang you, you, yeah. you were him. <laughs> you were him uh, at, uh, at that time. So, I really hope, um, even the IBL, hopefully, Could make could help us arrange something lah untuk bisa bantu uh, put your jersey in the oh, rafters. Um, Cause man, you help a, uh, IBL a lot juga untuk exposure mereka, and you know mungkin juga bawa pemain-pemain dari Amerika ke sini. So <sighs> jangan penangis ini. <laughs> Cause you're like my big bro, we're like family. Man, absolutely. Like, you already know. Yeah, you already know. kita we, kita bisa jauh berapa tahun, uh, yeah. tapi nggak nggak bakal berubah. You already know what time it is, you know. Yeah, actually kita ada hati waktu juga kita nggak ngobrol ya. Like at one time, like yeah. mungkin dua tahun tiga tahun nggak ngobrol. Just busy, you know what I mean? Just busy and yeah. then reconnect as still like family. Yeah, you already know what it is. It's yeah. never gonna change. We had a couple of Vegas trip too. <laughs> That's off the record, but we know this. Oh my god, that was fun though. Michael Jackson shoes, remember that? <laughs> Yo, my brother Jay. Jay, Jay oh, Rob. Jay, Jay Roberts, where is he at? Jay's in uh, Virginia. Okay, yeah, we still talk every day. So. Yeah, so long kita ngobrol lebih panjang lagi ntar off the camera. But Rob, once again, enjoy your time in Jakarta. Love, love, all love, uh, all the best. Kita akan nungguin banget sih untuk lo kirim-kirim pemain dari Amerika ke sini. Very excited for that. And once again, just want to give you your flowers. Appreciate I think you deserve it. I think kalau perlu bikinin ke <laughs> piagam or something like you know, uh, because oh man, what you did for Indonesian basketball was apa yang nggak bisa nggak bisa dihitung lah menurut gua. So appreciate once again, it. bro, have fun in Jakarta. Thank meeting, you. Thank you. Meeting a lot of people. Yeah. Do a lot of podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> do a lot of contents. And yeah, man, guys, itu adalah interview gua dengan Mario Usang. Thank you so much. Agak lama sini, maybe about 50 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And please don't forget to always support uh, Uncle Ro also in what he's doing. Uh, he's doing great things uh, untuk basket di Amerika dan juga untuk basket di Indonesia. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace out, everybody.